Hello, I'm Vincent Creel, Public Affairs Manager for the City of Biloxi, here to deliver today's report for Friday, July 9th, 2021. We'll have your weekend preview, which includes fireworks tonight at the Biloxi Shuckers game. We'll have the weekend weather forecast. We'll have news about changes coming to the Keesler Air Force Base gates for the next couple of months. There was a gas leak on Thursday morning that caused the evacuation of nearly two dozen homes on Division Street. And we'll take you to Hiller Park to see some new visitors from up north. But we begin today at City Hall. The Mayor and City Council launched their new four-year terms this week, but the City's Chief Administrative Officer and Department Directors will have to wait until the Council's next meeting on July 20th to see if they will be confirmed. After a 40-minute closed session, City Council members voted unanimously on Tuesday to table the reappointments of CAO Mike Leonard, Police Chief John Miller, Fire Chief Joe Boney, and Directors Jerry Creel of Community Development, Billy Ray Allen of Public Works, Sherry Bell of Parks and Recreation, and City Attorney Peter Abad and his firm Curry Johnson. The entire team would continue to serve until at least July 20th, the City Council said. Fire Chief Joe Boney, at the outset of the meeting and aware of the apparent lack of support, announced that he planned to retire at the end of this year, moving up his planned 2022 retirement, which would have coincided with his term as president of the 10-state Southeastern Association of Fire Chiefs. I wrote my ending to this story earlier this afternoon when I submitted my letter of intent to retire from the city of Biloxi to the mayor, which will become effective no later than the end of the year in order to allow an adequate time for a smooth transition. So while this may be the ending to this particular story, the little boy in me still looks forward to other dreams to pursue. Thank you. Thank you, Joe. Thank you. You can see a replay of the City Council meeting right here on the City's website. There were a few anxious moments mid-morning Thursday when contractors working on the Keesler Corridor area of Division Street struck a gas line at the corner of Seal Avenue and Division Street. Between 15 and 20 homes were evacuated on the north end of Seal while the gas company made the repairs to the line. Here's some traffic news from Keesler Air Force Base. Beginning Monday, July 12th, and continuing for the next eight to 10 weeks, there will be some changes in the operation of the gates to access Keesler Air Force Base. Here's what Keesler says you need to know. The Meadows Avenue gate, which is off Forest Avenue, will be open every day from 5.30 in the morning to 10 at night. The main gate at White Avenue will be open only from 5.30 to 8.30 each weekday morning and then from 3.30 to 6 each afternoon it's going to be open only to outbound traffic. White Avenue gate open from 5.30 to 8.30 each weekday morning and only for outbound traffic from 3.30 to 6 each weekday afternoon. The Pass Road gate to Keesler will remain open 24 hours a day. The commercial vehicle gate will be open between weekdays between 6 in the morning to 3 in the afternoon. And the Visitors Control Center will be open from 6 in the morning to 5 Monday through Thursday, from 6 in the morning to 4 on Fridays, and from 9 to 3 on Saturdays. Here's a heads up also on some work coming up next week on Pops Ferry Road, south of the bridge. A southbound lane of Pops Ferry Road from Wabon Terre to Old Bay Road will be closed each weekday from 7.30 in the morning until 5.30 in the afternoon. The lane will be reopened each night. Please use caution in these areas. To keep up with all of the traffic issues on your cell phone, please text Biloxi to 99411. It's our Be Alert service. It's free and it's the 411 on traffic. As of Thursday, July the 8th, the Mississippi State Department of Health reports 427 new cases of the coronavirus statewide and one new death statewide. 
In Harrison County, 37 new COVID-19 cases were reported with no new deaths. Overall, more than 323,000 cases of COVID-19 have been reported statewide with more than 7,400 deaths. In Harrison County, more than 18,700 cases have been reported with 317 deaths. Mississippi has one of the lowest COVID-19 vaccination rates in the nation, with only 31% of Mississippians fully vaccinated, according to the State Department. In Harrison County, only 28% of residents are fully vaccinated. The next and last day to receive a free COVID-19 vaccination at the Mississippi Coast Coliseum will be Tuesday, July the 13th. Vaccinations are administered by the State Department and no appointment is needed. After Tuesday, the state will continue to give free vaccinations at the Health Department office located at 1102 45th Avenue in Gulfport. Many local providers will continue to offer COVID-19 vaccinations. For more information about vaccinations, links to appointments, and safety protocols for fully vaccinated individuals, visit the city's website at biloxi.ms.us or you may call the Mississippi COVID-19 hotline at 877-978-6453 to schedule a COVID-19 vaccination. Rain chances continue throughout the weekend with thunderstorms likely and temperatures in the 70s and 80s. The Biloxi Shepherds are back in town playing the Birmingham Barons at MGM Park throughout the weekend. There will be a post-game fireworks show on Friday night and plenty of promotions. That's BiloxiShuckers.com for ticket and game information. For more happenings, check out the community calendar on the city's website at Biloxi.ms.us and in the July edition of B News Monthly. We leave you today with the moment of Zen at Hebel Park, where we have seen a flock of new visitors this week. We'll see you again next Friday. <laughs>